Man, I'm excited to make this video. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Chalk, and it feels like it's been forever since I've been able to get in front of a microphone and talk about NBA 2K. But with NBA 2K23 coming out in the next three days, 2K season is officially among us, man. I am beyond hype, and I'm sure you are as well. And as you guys can see by the title of this video, today's video is extremely important for you to watch before you go out and make a build on NBA 2K23. And I'm going to be honest with you, it's very important that your friends watch this one as well because not only is it going to save you money it's going to save you guys a lot of time there is no worse feeling than loading up 2k putting money on a player and then grinding the badges out just to find out that that build sucks so we're going to do everything that we can to prevent that without even touching the game this is going to be some of the most knowledge you get in an 8 to 10 minute span so go ahead and make sure that you guys are paying attention all right this video is going to save you time and money and i promise you it's worth watching the entire thing so before we even specifically specifically talk about the build, we have to talk about the new things that 2K has added that would slight you in making a build a specific way. A lot of times because 2K adds new features, we think that it's going to change the meta and we think that it's going to change the play styles and we think that it's going to do this and do that. And one of the most important changes that I've seen and one of the biggest and most controversial things that I've seen so far is this new adrenaline feature. Now, for those of you guys who don't know and are just catching up, adrenaline is the new stamina for ball handlers, okay? And there's been a lot of clips surfacing that have made people believe that dribbling is going to be dead in NBA 2K23. And I'm here to go ahead and tell you guys off rip that that is absolutely not true. I've seen this from a lot of even reputable sources where it's like, oh man, stamina is going to take a big hit this year. You're really going to have to play team ball. No. For example, as you guys can see from this clip right here, this tweet actually went viral with Lonzo Ball's dribbling. And all you can see in the replies are, oh no, stamina's murdered, dribbling is dead, blah, 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 blah. Let's go ahead and take into account a few different things here. Number one, it's Alonzo Ball. If I know anything from 2K, 2K does not respect Alonzo Ball's game at all. And I know for a fact, he probably has bronze handles for days, if any handles for days badge at all. Number two, his stamina is not going to be as high as your my players would be. And number three, and this is probably the most important factor that most people aren't even thinking about when it comes to this adrenaline stuff is the fact that when you're playing in the park, when you're playing in pro when you're playing these games with you or my player, you can get Gatorade boosts and you can do Gatorade drills that are going to give you guys two extra stamina bars. So what you're looking at when you're looking at this stock gameplay is you're looking at players with no Gatorade boosts and no Gatorade workouts. Not only that, but you're looking at them with like basic low level badges in comparison to your my player who can be out there dribbling like Kyrie. And to be completely honest with you, that kind of pivots me to my next point, which is the fact that you guys really don't need to believe any tweets or anything like that until you get your actual hands on the game. This brings me back to 2017, man. I remember this specifically. Mike Wang put this tweet out right here, okay? He put this tweet out and I was thinking to myself, man. It's going to be a slasher's year. And I went in and the first build that I made had a low three-pointer and it had very high driving. That way I could get in the paint and mash. I read that it was going to be Hall of Fame difficulty, yada, yada, yada. Listen, man, as you guys know, it was nothing like that. And I'm telling you, this happens a lot and people get baited a lot. Guys, let's stick to our guns and stick to what we know. There's quite a few ways that we can secure our NBA 2K23 players into being usable, okay? And obviously, you can't create the best possible build until you have your hands on the game. But what you can do is make a build that's going to be usable in a build that is not going to be an absolute waste of money. And I'm going to go ahead and break that down position by position. Let's start it off with point guard. For a point guard, it's pretty obvious that you guys are going to want to go ahead and have a 90 plus three pointer. Okay. A 90 plus three pointer is just a safe three pointer. You're the primary ball handler on your team. And in NBA 2K, the point guard is typically the primary scorer. So you need to put the ball in the hoop. You're going to be able to do that with a 90 plus three pointer. What you do not need is a 90 plus mid range. All right. Mid ranges are always significantly easier than three pointers. So you can go ahead and drop that down. On the flip side of that, let's talk about ball handling. You need a 90 plus ball handling this year to unlock specific animations. The better animations are 90 plus. Now, are there going to be some usable animations under 90? Yes, but in order to secure a build that you can use all year, 
Get a 90 three-pointer and a 90 ball handling, as well as a 90 pass accuracy, guys. There is no more bullet passer this year. You're also going to want to go ahead and have an 80 driving dunk with a 60 vertical, which is for quick drops off one. For those of you guys who don't know, that's the best dunk package in the game, okay? So those are the most important stats for you to have. You don't need to have layup. You don't need to have crazy strength. You can go ahead and get rid of those things Focus on these things and it will automatically be a point guard that you can use for the entire year. Shooting guard builds are almost the exact same thing as point guard builds with the exception of the fact that you don't need to have as high of pass accuracy, but these same concepts still apply. You're going to want to have a little bit more defense in case your team needs you to guard the hash or you need to guard a better ball handler than the point guard would. But yeah, other than that, they're pretty much similar and you can follow the exact same concept. For my lockdown defenders out there, something that you guys need to know is that your perimeter defense and your speed is everything. Perimeter defense, your speed, getting your wingspan as high as possible. Do not worry about strength. Do not worry about any of that stuff, guys. You want to make sure that your perimeter is high, your speed is high, and then that your three-point shot is high enough for you to consistently make shots. And Mike Wang recently said on his tweet that if you have a 73 ball as a competitive player, you're going to be able to green, okay? So go ahead and trust that, all right? I believe that you guys are going to always be able to green with a 73-pointer. You guys got to keep in mind the different badges that will be kicking in that will give you plus the, the boost that will be giving you extra uh, dimer, all these different things that can be ran, floor general, all this stuff that's going to go ahead and get your three-pointer higher than you could have even imagined. So go ahead and keep that low and focus on the things that you need. You're a lockdown. You want to make sure that you're playing the best defense possible. Get that high. Get your block high. Get your steal high. Get all that stuff high. That way you're making the biggest impact you possibly can for your team. And make sure that you're a little bit on the tall side. You don't need to be a 6'10 lock, but you also don't need to be a 6'1 lock. All right? Find yourself in the middle between anywhere from 6'3 to 6'6, six, six, I would say, is a good lock size. It's a comfortable lock size, and it's a safe lock size that you'll be able to use for the entirety of the year. For my power forwards out there, focus on your defense. Please, 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 please. Do not get baited by these slashing tweets and all these things into making a power forward build that just has a ton of finishing and is lacking on the defensive area. The small forward and the power forward are the most important defensive builds on any team, whether this is park or pro am. So you guys want to make sure that you're not out there lacking because you wanted to have a 99 driving dunk so you could hang on the rim and get a technical, all right? Make sure that you guys have good speed, you have good perimeter defense, good interior, good steal, good block, all that stuff, all right? You want to make sure that you guys are a defensive anchor. That's what a power forward is on majority of teams. And for my centers out there, you guys have your work cut out for you because every single year, the center meta changes. Sometimes it's an inside center. Sometimes it's a popping center. Sometimes it's tall. Sometimes it's short. But if you guys want to go ahead and make a center build that's going to be safe, usable, and be able to be used for the entire year, make a center that's on the taller side. This isn't going to make you guys the best center, all right? Because what ends up happening is the game usually progresses towards shorter centers. It didn't in 2K22, but it typically does. But if you're looking to make a build that's going to last you for the entire year, if you're making a seven foot plus center, it's going to be usable, okay? Just keep in mind that the taller you go, the more trouble you're going to have guarding the pick and roll in the park because naturally the taller you go, the slower you're going to be. So just keep that in mind because you don't want your speed to be too bad, but you also don't want to be too short and getting snagged on. Make sure you do your best to get max rebounding and then just have decent finishing, guys. You don't need to have 99 driving dunk. You don't need to have 99 post hook. All right, let's just be smart with it. Focus on the defense. Focus on all that good stuff. One thing I want to stress, guys, and if you take anything away from this video before you make a build, make sure that you take this away, guys, all right? The NBA is shooting more threes than ever before. The game has completely changed, and it is a three-point game. And 2K's job as a simulation basketball game is to do their best to make NBA 2K as much like the NBA as they can, as you guys have seen with the addition of Limitless Range and all these things that have already changed the game. So they're never going to progress away from it being a three-point shooting game, guys. Three-point shooting is going to be the meta. It always has been and it always will be. Please do not get baited from this Jordan gameplay into focusing on making players with mid-range. Please do not get baited into thinking that it's going to be a slasher's year, guys. Trust and believe me. It's all about the three-pointers, all right? Make a build that can shoot and you will be good for the entire year. But that's the end of today's video, guys. And I'm gonna be honest with you, it feels good to be sitting in this spot. And I'm so, 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 so excited to bring you guys the best NBA 2K23 content all year long. And the best NBA 2K content, I mean the best builds, the best jump shots, the best animations, the best gameplay, all right? I'm going to be in the Pro-Am. I'm going to be in Park. I'm going to make sure that we have a lit NBA 2K23 and you guys don't want to miss any of it. 
Turn the notifications on and follow me on all social media platforms. That way you guys can stay in touch with me. And listen, guys, I genuinely, truly cannot wait. And I appreciate you guys for watching. Leave a comment. I respond to every single comment. And as always, it's your boy, Chuck. Stay tuned for more. And I'm out. Let's ride in NBA 2K23. Peace.